Howdy y'all, this is Big Country with Big Country Survival. So, I'm on a uh, preparedness forum, and, and the discussion of what is the ideal place for a prepper came up, you know, like if you're in the continental U.S. or in the U.S. in general, and you had to pick a state um, to live um, that would be ideal for a prepper, an environment to live, what would it be? Um, well, first off, low population density, that's the big key for me. Um, you know, you don't want to have an overly populated region. So that's step one. As far as the environmental factors go, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't, uh, to me. People have been living all over the world. I mean, people, we have, as mankind, come from, you know, come out of the Garden of Eden, and we scattered about, you know, the rest of the world. We populated pretty much everywhere but Antarctica. Um, and, you know, we're on every continent but there, and, and we're even, we're there, you know, scientists and stuff. So, you know, we do go there. Right, it's not like there's this environment that we can't go. Um, and so man, man does. Man goes. We we can live anywhere. Right, with you know tools and and you know there there are ways to survive in extreme heat. There are ways to survive in extreme cold, and a lot of people have this figured out. A lot of people know you know, how to do this. It's like me. I'm from, you know, the Appalachian Mountains and the, the hills and hollers and all of that. I know how to deal with that. I know the plants and then the bugs and everything else that comes with it. And the negative, you know, like 13 below winters and, and the 100 degree summers. I know how to deal with that. My, my body is acclimated to it. Um, yeah. Yeah, you try uh, try welding uh, 100 degree heat. I know some of y'all boys down Texas way are probably like, oh, that's nothing. You know, <laughs> try 120, 130, whatever. Um, whatever it gets down there. It's like, no nah, thanks. You know, but at the same time, y'all look and say, negative 13? <laughs> oh, I don't want to deal with that. You know, that's too cold. Right, but but you know my, that's that's the environment, the temperatures, and and all of that that I'm acclimated to. So for me, I'm born and raised in this area. So this is what I know. This is a fairly rural area. It is. Now, you get an old boy from the Great Plains, and he decides he wants to come here, that may or may not be a good idea. Because when you move your environment completely, you are, I mean, you're basically back to square one. It's like if I was to up and say, you know what, I think I'm going to go and move out in the middle of the desert. I don't know how to survive in the desert. I don't. I know what I learned from reading, but I don't have a desert to survive in here. So, <laughs> just it's like I've never gone and, and, and harvested prickly pear and, and fried it up and ate it. I've never done that. I don't know what I'm doing with that. Um... You know, at the same time, I don't know what, y'all have persimmons down there? Y'all know what a persimmon is? Uh, I know there are down, down south, like Mississippi, that area, I know there's persimmons down there, but we get persim got persimmons up here, you know, crab apples, 
You know, you know what a crab apple is? I mean, do you know what rabbit tobacco is? And maybe you do, I don't know. You know, but there there's a lot of a lot of plants out here that are just not in you know, the desert. <laughs> you know, there they there are. There's a lot of plants out here and you know, and vice versa. But I know this environment. I know the people. I know the animals and the plants and I know how to grow a garden here. Um I know what the weather's like, right? So I have adapted to that and you know, I know what kind of clothing I need to keep me warm in that environment. And, you know, just little tips and tricks that you pick up from living in this area. So that, that for me, what, and this is for me, the ideal place for you to be a prepper, to survive, is an environment that you know, that has a low population density, preferably away from nuclear reactors and, and things like, like that, that could go boom and kill you. Um, but, you know, just an environment that you know, with a low population density. I mean, that's, it's, it's really that simple. In my opinion, it's, it's truly that simple. If you know that, <clears throat> or, excuse me, if you know the plains, stick in the plains, so, you know, stick with the Great Plains region. It's what you know. Um, if you come to the hills, you'll be back at square one to some degree. If I was to go to the plains, I would definitely be in square one. Um, I messed with some of them, you know, like them straight line winds that were coming off of a twister. Or with, I mean, there was a twister touchdown, but it wasn't the actual twister that hit. And... Me and five other people in an SUV loaded down with all of our stuff got picked up by straight line winds in Nebraska when I was a kid. Well, in my mid teens. And picked up and sat down. Now, you won't talk about scary. <laughs> it's like, so I'm sticking away from the planes. I don't want to mess with it, I don't want to deal with that crap. I, don't, I, I just don't. I like where I'm at. Um, I know how to survive in where I'm at. Just like, you know, the guys that live in those areas. They know how to handle tornadoes. I mean, you do. If you If you live in an area that gets a lot of tornadoes, you know how to deal with them. If you live in an area that gets a lot of flooding, you know how to deal with flooding. Live in an area that has hurricanes, you know how to handle hurricanes. I mean, it's truly, truly that simple. Everywhere has their pros and cons, and it's just, I'd stick with the pros and cons that you know. Now, if you know absolutely nothing about any of them, and... You know, like like you're from New York City. Um, then okay, then you can go and you know kind of pick pick a spot, right? You know, if you're a city boy and grown up in the city your whole life, and you know nothing about any of what I just discussed, then okay, pick a spot, low population density. You know, and a lot of people talk about the Ozarks. All right, but that's just my take on it. I stick with what you know. Stick with what you know. Anyway, till next time, this big country, big country survival. Signing out. God bless.